Well, we're counting down the days until fall begins officially coming up early Saturday morning. It did not uh, feel like fall here across the region today. Officially just uh, over three days until the fall equinox. Notice uh, officially fall starting at 1.50 a.m. Saturday morning. So just over three days is what uh, we're looking at here for fall. And let's talk about some of those fall colors here. We've been getting a lot of photos of uh, some trees changing here with uh, the change of season. Notice in southeast Minnesota, most of us still in that uh, green. The latest report for the Minnesota DNR, we're still at about maybe five to 10 percent, but some areas, especially right along the Mississippi River Valley in that 10 to 25 percent is starting to change over. Here's a picture from Sioux and Whitewater, and we can see ah, that's probably close to maybe about to uh, say five to 10 percent of those trees changing. Beautiful photo there uh, from Sue out in Whitewater. Another one from Rick here in Southeast Minnesota. A very nice looking fall color photo here. Make sure to send in all those uh, great fall colors, maybe in your neighborhood, and you can always submit those uh, to our KDDC Weather Photo Community Group on Facebook. Those sunset photos, we have a lot of active people in there and some great photographers, especially too, if we ever get another chance at the Northern Lights. You can join that KDDC Weather Photo Community Group on Facebook. All you do is search KDDC Weather Photos. Let's take a look at what to expect here tonight. Maybe a stray shower, but I think most of that will stay well to our south here tonight. Sunshine and some warm temperatures on Wednesday. Rain chances return this weekend. Currently on our Lewis Not Alive camera, we are dry. 63 here. Registering clear sky. There is some cloud cover out there uh, currently here tonight. So partly cloudy. Wind out of the southeast at about 8 miles per hour. We then take a look at future track radar. Notice we are picking up some high level clouds here uh, tonight on radar. Maybe a couple little light showers north of the cities. But again, I think our region will stay dry. We're kind of in between uh, this boundary here, stationary boundary, showers down to the south, heavier cloud cover near about Waterloo and into Des Moines. So future track here tonight, we hold on to some cloud cover. Temperatures will be down into the mid 50s for those lows here tonight. We'll pick up some on and off cloud cover tomorrow. We will have some sunshine. It might be a little cloudier down in northern Iowa. Uh, then say southeast Minnesota tomorrow. High temperatures warming nicely above seasonal averages. We're staying in the upper 70s and some lower 80s in for highs on Wednesday. I think we see the same type of thing on the way on Thursday too in terms of our temperatures. Fast forward to the weekend. Straight chance for some showers late Friday. Isolated coming up Saturday and Sunday. Not a washout this weekend, but there will be some periods of some wet weather. The reason why I don't say it's a washout is let's take a look at the latest model runs here in terms of our rainfall amounts as we look at maybe getting towards an inch of rainfall. Again, we need the rain. This is looking at Saturday, Sunday and Monday. What we would want to see with this graphic if we want to see maybe an inch of rainfall is the light green. Notice where the light green is at. That's the agreement between our two long range models. That is well to our west. Just model number two has maybe southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa getting close to an inch of rainfall through that three day time span, not just one day, three day time span there. So we'll keep an eye on that for those rain chances this weekend. 57 for the overnight low tonight, partly cloudy. Tomorrow's outlook, I think we have some partly cloudy sky temperatures back up into the upper 70s and some lower 80s. I think we get really close to 80 tomorrow in Rochester, really just depend on how much sunshine we have. Might actually be cooler in northern Iowa due to some of that to lingering cloud cover. 70 forecast, 78 for the high Thursday. Mid 70s continue both Friday and Saturday. Saturday, we will see the threat for some isolated showers and thunderstorms this weekend. Caitlin.